Hey, what's up, Country Reefs 88? Wanted to come over today and check out my aquascape? Let's go ahead and take a look. Come on in. Hey, thanks for stopping by. So, today I'll go ahead and explain to you uh, what you want to know about my aquascape. We'll take a look at how it's aquascaped, what it's aquascaped with, um, the design of the aquascape, and why I chose this particular aquascape and some of my own personal science that went into why the aquascape is the way it is. So, Let's take a closer look. Let's not mind the big acro here in the middle of the tank. This is going to be going away here soon. But uh, we'll get a good feel for what you want to know about this aquascape. Alright. Alright, so bringing it in closer here on this aquascape, you can see here that I've got a lot of open area and a lot of rock work with actually not too much rock. Got some open sand bed area here. This is going to be for my sand bed born stuff like some zoas, uh, my scalimias, my favia brain, uh, aiken, stuff like that. And everything up here is going to be my SPS, my acros, my monoporas, my bird's nest, all that good stuff. So I'll let you go ahead and take a good look here. I got some archways, some caves going on here. I got some bald spots right now because when I first got my new return pump and these, these WP40s on the tank, it just blew this stuff wild. I'm um, sure you can tell here that my tank is still going through a cycle. It's not up and running. i got a couple fish in here right now. Um, yeah, I wish this acro wasn't here. Um, but yeah, i got this little sand bed area up front here. And i got a nice little hole in the rock there. Really cool aquascape. And um, coming around to this side, we got another little archway cave kind of deal. And um, some more rock here. These two rocks here, this one. And this one are actually anchored in with um, acrylic rods and some of the, uh, what the heck is it? I forget what it's called. Um, some epoxy putty. And then this rock right here, this rock is specifically for my anemone. I tried making this rock as comfortable as possible for an anemone. I put as many nooks and crannies, crevices, you name it, it's in here for this anemone. Why I did this rock for, just for the anemone is so the anemone would stay off of all of this other rock work in the tank. I want the anemone to stay right here. That's why I tried making it its own little habitat here with, to make it as comfortable as possible so the anemone will stay here. It's not in completely high flow area. It's got enough flow. It's got enough light. So this is my anemone rock. I'm hoping it'll stay there once I get it in the tank. Um, now when I did the aquascape, I wanted to make it so I didn't have um, that much rock in contact with the sand, which is why you see a bunch of my rock is suspended. Um, there's only a couple of actual base pieces. This is a base piece, that's a base piece, that's a base piece. And that little piece right there is a base piece. And then there's some base pieces for the big rock structure in the back. Everything else is supported off of the sand. I did that because I didn't want any dead spots in my rock and I wanted the most um, surface area for my beneficial bacteria and for flow to get through. Now, bringing up flow uh, brings me to another topic of this aqu aquascape, and that is keeping dead spots away. So what I did is I built the aquascape far enough away from the back of the tank so I can put power heads right here, keeping detritus buildup and all that nasty stuff away from the back of the rock work, and I'll have um, flow going through the back of the rock work, along with going into the rock work this way like normally um, so yeah this is that's why I did this aquascape the way I did it and why um, it's built this way and like I said it's kinda of my own science behind it there's really no science behind it but it's my own kind of science um, the rock is held together with acrylic rods um, epoxy putty and this pond foam um, I did that so I really want to get an urchin in this tank well, that was the plan in the first place. But that's kind of changed a little bit. We'll see. But um, needless to say, this this I wanted the uh, aquascape to be really rigid, really strong. I didn't want any rocks to shift when I went in there and tried to push a frag down and then have a rock shift or something. Just I didn't want that. I had that in my other tanks before, and it was annoying. Um, so that's why it took me eight hours. That's right, eight hours to create this aquascape. Um, so everything is held together, everything is very sturdy, nothing's going to fall, and it just gives it that, 
I don't know, a more natural kind of look instead of having just a pile of rocks in the tank. Um, I was able to really create some nice arches like this one here or this one over here with the big Pukani pieces um, up front here. So um, yeah, it was built uh, with the acrylic rods, epoxy putty, and the pond foam. And this whole entire rock structure, every, everywhere you see rock in contact with the sand, in the back here and I think that's it yep that's it you can see there that's a floating piece of rock right there see that it's not attached to anything it's just floating there it's an acrylic rod um everything is sitting on egg crate I did that for two reasons one to eliminate pressure points on the bottom glass uh, being as this is a DIY tank I'm really trying to take every single precaution and two to raise the rock up off the bottom of the tank that extra quarter inch that way there's that much less of the rock in contact with the sand that goes again to having that surface area so anyways thanks for stopping by I hope you enjoyed the the, uh, the tour of the aquascape and maybe some inspiration and uh, see you next time you're not in this video All right. This is the contest entry for Reefs 88. No, Country Reefs 88, sorry. Country Reefs 88, thanks for the contest, man, and hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I think the Aquascape turned out pretty good. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Aquascape. Thank you for stopping by, and um, you know, hopefully we'll see this thing grow. Thank you again for running this for us. Um, these are always fun to enter. Again, this is... <laughs> I haven't said it yet, but this is my contest entry for Country Reefs 88 running an awesome Red Sea sponsored contest right now. Go check them out. There will be a link in the description or somewhere on the front of the tank maybe. We'll see what I can pull out. But um, yep, he wanted to know about the Aquascape, so here it is. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck to everybody else who enters. See you later.